Buffers, one of the most daunting topics introduced in Chemistry 101, but with a basic understanding of Bronsted, Lowry, acids and bases, anyone can understand buffers. And gee, I sure hope you do, because I don't know one person who has not experienced buffers in their day-to-day -day life. Buffers answer questions like, why do Tums help my heartburn? This and many other nail-biting questions will be answered in today's segment of, wait, I can understand that? I can understand, I can understand that. I can oh understand, my gosh. I can understand that. that. No. In simple terms, buffers resist pH change. We can create an environment that resists a change in pH by understanding what a buffer is. By definition, buffers consist of a weak acid and its conjugate base, or a weak base and its conjugate acid. Using knowledge of the definition of a Bronsted-Lowry acid and base, where an acid is any substance that will give up a hydrogen and a base is any substance that will gain a hydrogen. So for example, if you take a weak acid, HF, and remove the hydrogen, you get HF's conjugate conjugate base, F minus, that wants to gain a hydrogen. We can use this knowledge to create buffers. If you add a weak acid, HF, to make things simple, to aqueous NaF, the ionized NaF will turn to Na plus and F minus. This solution will roughly have a pH of 3. As we've learned, a buffer is a weak acid and its conjugate base. So with HF and F minus, we have a weak acid, HF, and its conjugate base, F minus. If we add our strongest acid, straight H plus, these H pluses will combine with our conjugate base, F minus, and create more weak acid, HF. Since HF is a very weak acid, this will not change our previously established pH of 3. If we add our strongest base, OH, the OH will steal the H plus from our HF, leaving us with a lot of F minus and more H2O, or water. Once again, this conjugate base has very little effect on the pH of the solution because it is just fairly basic. Our original pH is unaffected. Let's go to a demonstration. I have here our weak acid HF and our ionized NaF. Na plus is a non-reactant in this reaction, so it need not be a part of our demonstration today. You may go all right, now that we have what we need, a buffer, let's see what happens when we add more acid, H+. There you have it, the acid paired with our conjugate base, creating a weak acid that will not change our pH of 3. So now we'll reset and see what happens when we add base, OH-. There you have it once more, the base stole a hydrogen, creating water, which of course does not change our pH of 3. So there's your answer to the age-old Tums question. Tums are a buffer, so when you have heartburn from too much acid, you take Tums, which stabilizes your stomach pH. I'm Megan Fox, and this has been, wait, I can understand that?